Hello. Good afternoon, evening, noon. What's that spot between like late afternoon, early evening? I guess that's where we are right now. Hi, welcome to the Full Force News Burst live special. Leaked images, pre-orders, all this, all sorts kicking off. I, I knew there were going to be leaks, just knew it, and but didn't expect it so early in the day. We did a, a really fun monthly episode uh, just a, a few moments ago as well with Mark Seddon, and then I'm straight back into it again with you guys. I haven't even had a chance to change me out. <laughs> so yes, we are talking live, like up to the second blooming image leaks and everything. Isn't it crazy? Um, I hope everyone in the chat, hope you're all doing really well. Uh, obviously, it's it's an awkward time of the day. I know you're probably all like getting back from work or I don't know what, to, what part of the globe you're in. Obviously, it could be different. You could still be at work. You could be well, well after. You could be just chilling. But my goodness, we've had all sorts of kickoff, haven't we? So, and again, I wasn't, I was kind of expecting a few kind of like rough potato shots of like the white images with the figures and the stuff on the background. Are we getting like full on product photography, like leaks basically? So anyway, <sighs> anyway um crazy stuff so let's uh, let's delve into it i guess let's delve deep into the leaks i would also say we're not just talking about leaked images today i'm also going to uh, shout out shout shouting shooting the galaxy for posting some um also some kind of interesting images which we'll look at first but effectively that's all we're here for let's look at some images <laughs> Right, so it, obviously, yeah, there's your your main image of leaked pre-order images. We've got Doc, we, we've got Jinx, we've got Yobbo and Pork Belly. But um, yeah, lots lots of things to discuss in. A lot of people I've noticed in the comments talking about where's the SMS? What about the SMS images? Yada, yada, yada. We know fully well that some images leak before shows and some don't, don't we? So um, it's quite possible that we just they just haven't leaked yet. Uh, give it a few minutes. We'll probably <laughs> we'll probably will probably it'll probably appear. Now before we get into the leaked images stuff, let's have a look at some pretty fun shooting the galaxy promo images um, of the Soundwave Thunder Machine Zartan Zaran and uh, Ravage. Um, now the reason I'm kind of looking at these is because these went up earlier today. Uh, kind of like a little bit of a kind of surprise sort of post, a, a bit after the fact as well, because it's not like the Soundwave Thunder Machine has just come out. It hasn't. It's been out for a while. Um, so it's interesting that they post these images. And I'll say that as well. I think this is like definitely a an interesting post as well, kind of officially by Hasbro, because it does kind of hint at what might be to come. And I wonder if this is, again, like a little pre-prelude prelude, to what we might see tomorrow. Um, obviously, we know that obviously that four-figure wave is going to be uh, dropping for pre-order tomorrow. That's pretty clear and obvious. Um, and the Norga Hyde and figure and pet set. Um, and we'll come to we'll come back to what we might expect for tomorrow on top of what we've seen today, um, and talk about that as well. But could this be part of the you know the proceedings? Could we be seeing another collab brought out? We know obviously. The Sergeant Slaughter Triple T Cup sort of scenario has been the worst kept secret, thanks to the Sarge, for a number of months now. And I wonder if this might be Hasbro's like attempt at like nod, nod, wink, wink to the fans. Like we know, you know, and one of the images obviously shows that. But we'll have a look at th this. Is a beauty as well with them like riding sound wave almost like Wee! and there's Ravage as well like running kind of behind. Uh, I think that's quite cute and fun too. But anyway, you know, just showing this figure off and what have you. But um, let's look. This is what I'm getting at. It's this image here of the Triple T. Now, this is probably not. It's very likely not the Cup Triple T Transformer figure, a vehicle, right? Almost certainly, it's just a, a vintage one they've used. Almost. I'm not saying it is definite, but that's probably what we're looking at here. Um, but what a nice little nod, nod, wink, wink to. Um, you know, to the fans a little bit here. There's more images up on Pulse for this one on its page. Thank you, Shooting the Galaxy. Yes, there are. Shout out to you, mate, because these are beautiful, by the way. 
Uh, and also, like I like the thought here of maybe, a, again, a little nod, nod, wink, wink as to what might be around the corner ever so soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe in the future. We'll see. Uh, anyway, but we do know for a fact um, that uh, there are some other things coming um, which we have been leaked on, that have been leaked. Um, and there's one more shot as well to check out for um, Cheating the Galaxy's wonderful uh, sound wave thunder machine and this is a beauty as well again great kind of dynamic movement in this one um love i love your work shooting the galaxy and i'll be reaching out very shortly as soon as as soon as we get over the hump of all this absolute insanity we're going to be talking to you almost certainly and i can't wait to do that um and here of course is you know, like say Z zartan on the outside while zarana is driving the thunder machine uh, very was driving sound wave, I should say. This uh, again, phenomenal images. We love your work; it's great. And again, I imagine this is more of your work. We'll be looking at in a second whether you can. You probably can't say. Obviously, shooting out can don't have to. Just enjoy, sit back and enjoy <laughs> while we speculate like crazy about the stuff we've got coming. Now tomorrow, it's almost certain now what we might be receiving in terms of pre-orders. We'll start with Bosch, Norgahide, and Porkbelly, and Yobbo. Now, of course, we've had digital renders of these. We haven't had anything more than that. So now we're getting actual action figure. Um, you know, <laughs> you've got to go now. Totally understand. Totally understand. Um, just, you know, just you can watch in the background. Um, just don't just don't comment at this point. Now, this shot, again, not this shot, sorry, this um, image showing the figure as is there's a few things I'd like, I, i'm going to point out here that I re i'm really happy for i love the fact that it looks like the hat there's, there's a bit more kind of detail on here than i didn't see before but like you there's that kind of yellow element um of like animal not animal print but you've got like the teeth or the the claws around the hat and you've got like the uh, the, the thing holding on the claws is that this kind of band of like animal skin basically so that kind of yellow follows its you know follows that theme of the actual figure i kind of love the pattern on the, the vest as well the fact that it kind of kind of cascades over the kind of shoulders and leaves like a nice thick kind of yellow um down the middle um it's yeah it looks great um but again the figure looks so much better as well and i haven't zoomed in on the head but i'm sure we'd be able to see like the scarring and stuff on his head but look, again looks great really into this the, the animals look phenomenal and of course we did get this shot of pork belly and yobbo um for the promo images and they look great and this is very much your kuna matata sort of uh, image isn't it but again brilliant stuff uh pork belly and yobbo with their pet human indeed scott um and it's great to uh, like i know it's leaks and that sucks but at the same time it's so good to see these things isn't it it's so good to actually, um, you know, to see these, um, the, to see the figures. And whether it's a, a whether it's a, a leak or at the actual time, it's just so cool to actually see these figures in the flesh and uh, or in the plastic, as it were. And these look great. Now, then we have the only thing off is the mind bender boots, but a sharp knife can fix that. Says Derek. You're not a fan of the Mindbender boots. Are they Mindbender boots? I didn't even notice. What are you guys talking about? Because that's not then that's Roblox legs. You might be talking about something else, and my apologies if you are. Um, but well, yeah, I'm gonna move on. So next up, we have Doc. Doc looks great, doesn't he? Now, this looks like his loadout. Um, and it kind of lines up with what they were saying. Ah, I see. Kind of lines up with what they were... Sorry, you were talking about Torch. That's fair enough. Got it. Cool. We'll be talking about him soon, obviously. Um, this lines up with what he said He the, his blurb was saying he was coming with in terms of accessories. And a lot of people like, well, he must be a deluxe. And I was trying to say, no, it's not a deluxe. It's He's one of the four-figure wave. And um, no one really believed me. And I even questioned myself at one point. And then, and no, I know these are four-figure wave, so it's all good. So, yeah, not a deluxe figure, but comes with a lot of gear. Removable helmet, removable shades, multiple little, like, packs and things to go on that secondary. So the med kit and the, the kind of, like, pouches, that was all kind of described in the... Um, 
uh, in the kind of blurb, but you kind of in your head it made it sound like it was like a medi kit that you opened up and lit, there was lots of medical supplies in it. But that wasn't the case. What they were getting at was like a pack that goes on to uh, the secondary. And it kind of makes sense now. Um, are shades attached to the helmet? No, that's the back of the helmet, Rachel. Uh, so that's the shape of the back of the helmet, I think, right? Or have I gone mad? Is that the front of the helmet? You no, know, it looks like the back of the helmet that we can see that look like shades, right? So that like the shades are separate removable shades, and then the helmet goes over the top of all of it. I think I see what you're saying, but I think that's just the back shape of the helmet that's coming through the space of the front. Yeah, I think a lot of people say, okay, cool. Uh, let's just as long as we're clear on that one. And uh, the stretcher looks great. It's even got the handles kind of like on the sides, that kind of creates little legs almost, so it kind of sits off the ground. Oh, so good. And obviously it folds up, and then you have that little. You can see the peg um on the on the kind of towards the right hand side so that's great um but where are the gloves lol did they say gloves in the blurb anyway um phenomenal looking figure really into this one and then of course we do get a promo shot as well and this is great isn't it um now who is that on the ground is that a true who is that is that i can't see who it is is it is it torch no, it's not. Who is that on the ground? And why am I such a moron for not being able to identify anything? It's not a trooper, is it? Is it a Cobra trooper? What? Who is, is it Shockwave? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's Shockwave. Yeah, I'm looking at Shockwave as well. That's hilarious. Okay, so he's dealing with sh Shockwave's done. Obviously, his blooming great big gigantic uh, shield didn't protect him. Um, but, yeah. Oh. Man United just scored in the last minute. Sorry, spoiler alert. If you're anyway, uh, sorry, yeah, sorry. I'm quite happy about that because I'm a Manchester United fan. Um, anyway, brilliant stuff. I, I I can't even watch the match because there's too many news bursts to do. Um, yeah, Shockwave, brilliant. So he's dealing with uh, an injured Shockwave who, again, he's on his stretcher too, isn't he? Yeah, he's on that stretcher. The, like the secondary packs are on the ground too, which is pretty neat. And uh, he's got his flare gun in a building. Hopefully, what it looks like is that flare has gone straight through that tiny gap of light that is uh, <laughs> that is uh, showing through in the building, and hopefully, or maybe the flare made that 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 tiny gap of light. But anyway, I think he looks great, um, and I'm really digging this image of him as well. Uh, phenomenal stuff. Uh, Chris putting GI Joe over sports. Well done. I I I I have to, don't I? Uh, Shockwave swatting too much on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he got heat stroke. Absolutely. What did Ed say the other day? Um, if Shockwave can swat on the beach, <laughs> then what was it? I've completely I've got a screenshot of it, so I'm gonna read it now. If Shockwave can swat on the beach, Muskrat can swamp in the dark. Uh brilliant stuff. And if Shockwave can swat on the beach, then Doc can flare indoors, right? Perfect. Uh yeah, it's an alleyway, maybe. That's a good shout. That's a good shout. It just looks like they're in a building and that little crack of light is coming through a tiny, you know, skylight or something. But uh anyway, brilliant stuff. Looks great. This is this is this is a this is a yeah, this is a must have. So Doc looks great. And again, we'll like if there are more images that come up tonight, I'm not going to be doing another news burst, by the way. I'm gonna rinse this out before the end of the night. And then obviously we'll just save everything else for tomorrow's kind of reaction to the additional elements. And obviously we'll have more images uh, and I'll try and get those in the um, in the episode as well, which is great. I mean, it's it's going to be a, it's a busy week already. Um, and I'm talking to, to Brian Flynn of Super 7 on Friday and we're probably trying to squeeze out an, uh, the weekly on Friday so, so that Pat can join. So it's going to be crazy busy kind of uh, week. Um, worst case scenario, apologies to Pat again, to you guys again, we have to push the weekly to Saturday. Worst case scenario. Um, and then we will definitely, definitely, I will try not to make the Hasbro interview on Friday so that Pat can actually get Friday in for a weekly. But anyway, but yes, the Crimson Strike team went up on, on sale for uh, Pulse, didn't they, as well? Uh, like 60 something bucks or something it was crazy so yeah so yeah go ahead and grab that when you can um anywho doc phenomenal 
Let's move on to Torch. Uh, yeah, Ripper. Oh, that's Ripper. This is Torch. So uh, again, I'm. Or, so this is where you're saying you don't like the mind bender boots, but again, I'm 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 feeling that vibe. I think I think he's rocking those boots. I think it makes sense um, from uh, his design perspective. But um, anyway. Again, comes with an absolute cacophony of weaponage and blast effects and hoses and all sorts. A uh, decent amount of gear on this one. Uh, the backpack, again, I, I'm very happy to see a backpack. So happy to see a backpack with a with a dreadnought. Uh, the hose, the the flamethrower he's got is is proper cool as well with that kind of like skull element added onto the top of it. Just great. And then, of course, the flame effects are just dope. So, uh, yeah, into these. Into this. Chris, please ask but Brian, did Baron Zemo change Hasbro's stance on the hood? I will, I'll will. i see what he says. He might not be able to say anything, but, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see if I can get that information from him. Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, he's looking good. And, of course, we get a promo image as well. Bosh. In fact, I just want to look at that backpack again. It's still got the NOCKS thing going on. So, yeah, they're, they're probably... Again, I think Lenny's going to explain himself tomorrow, so I'll leave him to do that. But um, yeah, very cool. Love this design. I think it's a really good figure. And then we get this dope. He kind of looks a little bit like Lemmy from... Um, but he did anyway, didn't he, I, I guess, from uh, Brain Fart. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? From the band, for the group. Um, anyway, that's the Dragonfly Light. Oh, uh, you mean that when I was on Doc's image, Mark? Is that what you're saying? Because that would make a lot of sense, yeah. Motorhead, thank you, Joshua, and Rachel. Yes, um, so you're saying that he's in an alleyway, and that's the dragonfly um, light coming down. Sorry, this image here. That's a good shout, actually. I like that. Um, yeah, I, I'm okay, I'm back, I'm back in the game. It kind of, to me, it just had that vibe of like, they're in a building that's kind of a bit, that's had like some bombing. Do you know what I mean? It's had some like serious damage to it. But no, I, I like the idea that that's probably an alleyway and it's just the light from the dragonfly. Cool idea. And then tying it in a little bit with the dragonfly and the stretcher combining. Yeah. Coming back to, to Lemmy from Motorhead. Um, it's not brain fart, says Plastic Battles. It's Motorhead. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Mark. And Rosa Bowers, thanks Joshua, and thanks Rachel for the motorhead. Um, again, the brain fart that I just had. Um, yeah, really cool. Uh, so this is a banging list of, this is a cracking four-figure wave. A real proper, like, um, low-level banger that I don't think I was expecting to be this good. And they've kind of knocked it out of the park so far. They've dread knocked it out of the park, yeah? They've knocked N-O-C-K-E-D. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, really into this. And of course, we also get Jinx. Oh, I've already I've already, I've already embarrassed myself on the stream with how much I love this figure. And this just solidifies it for me. Absolute banger of a figure again. And look at that. Look at that weapon. Like, I, I know I can't call it the Naginata anymore because we know that it's not a Naginata, even though it was called a Naginata on the figure text on the front of the file card in the accessories loadout. But it isn't technically a Naginata. But what an awesome weapon this is and how good it looks like this design. I just, I'm well into it. Um, obviously the sword and sheath, cool, nice addition. Uh, the extra hands, the removable blindfold to go over the head sculpt, which is just awesome. Yeah, get a room, Chris. I know I was a little bit, wasn't I? Getting a little bit like that. And of course, the the hooded version. And the tattoo looks even better, actually. It looks, it looks really cool. It looks really... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm into this Jinx in a big way. This is a great Jinx figure. The little dragon um, emblem on the, sh on the, you know, on the, the gi. And of course, the little uh, necklace too. I think this is, this is again, another absolute solid figure um i wonder if she'll get the retro treatment with long sleeves i think it's a, i think it's a good chance of that rachel and i think they're probably thinking ahead with those things and uh it wouldn't surprise me and man united have won brilliant get in lovely stuff Ooh, difficult win that um anyway 
they're crap at the moment. You know, I'm not going to get into how bad Manchester United are. That's a different podcast. Um, that's a, a different channel. Um, yeah. So yeah, really into this, and I, I definitely feel like there's going to be a retro in the in the future. Definitely think so. Um, it's 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 almost like too obvious, but no, I'm 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 down for it. Even if they did just the hooded head with the retro version, long sleeves. And just yeah, removed a couple of things. You're done, aren't you? Basically, and I think that's a, a no brainer. Anyway, we also get this shot as well of her kicking torch in the chin, the chinny chin chin. This is how he got that section of his beard removed, I think, by getting kicked in the chin by uh, by Jinx. Um, brilliant stuff. Uh, again, great stuff from shooting the galaxy. I'm all in on shooting the galaxy promo images. Uh, I have to say. Uh, and I can't wait to see even more from the stream tomorrow. Um, and I'm, 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 we've even got more to talk about as well, technically, on this episode. Um, so we will get to that. Mark says yes. Is that in response to me asking that question about what you said before? Because cool. <laughs> um, I can't tell from this picture, but is that the movie Snake Eyes Sword? I think it is. I, th I believe it is. Although. No, I think it is. Yeah, it's got that kind of... Yeah, I think it is, actually. Um, again, nice reuse for that one. Yeah. Anywho, um, yeah, that's Jinx. Excited for this one. As you already know, I, I'm not going to go on about how much I love this Jinx figure any more than I already have done. But yeah, boom. Boom shakalaka. And I was just kind of... Yeah, I could just see we're getting a shot of, like, Torch's backpack and it's weirdly on his left thigh there maybe it's as if it's fallen off or, or falling down or maybe it does connect to his thigh does the canister connect to his thigh as well that's a cool little addition if they if that does happen i hadn't even thought about like rejigging the backpack or taking the canister out of it i don't think it does but maybe i don't know it just looks kind of cool there um Tom O'Mahony, how you doing, buddy? He says, it makes me laugh a bit how every wave of classified, I say to myself, if it ended now, I'll be satisfied. And then a wave like this comes along and I'm like, oh yeah, got to have Doc and Jinx and Torch. <laughs> and Night Creeper, mate. Don't forget Night Creeper, who is absolutely phenomenal. Um, my favourite of these reveals are Norgahide and the Night Creepers. I hope in the future we'll see a ninja repaint as well as Night Creeper leader figure. Yeah, I, same, Grant. I think, we'll, I think we will. I think we will. But let's talk about the next one, which is the Night Creeper. How gorgeous does that figure look? I might have to get a room with this one too. Uh, I love the kind of the almost like, hey, yeah, wink, wink. We're doing a version two, so let's let's throw in this head, make it this color, and you've got like the ability to army build this one and make either a kind of like leader of the Night Creepers with that head, or I don't know. Like just mix up the, the the ranks a little bit. Shabba, the Shabba ranks. Um <laughs> I'm either shouting Shabba or Shug it or doing a Zorana th Zorana thing, or like there's so many ridiculous OCD things I have to do when I say something. Kitty said is another thing, isn't it? Like all the time. I should get an Outback t-shirt with the kitty face that says Kitty said on it. That should be one of our full force t-shirts, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should be. Anyway, look at this, Tom. I mean, look at this figure. It's beautiful, isn't it? I say Tom because I just saw his comment in the thing. But yeah, a figure six pack says that's probably his tech mask. I like that idea as well. And they'll probably talk about that too on the on the stream. Uh, they can cross Night Creeper with his appearance in Book of Boba Fett. Totally. I remember when that happened and the, the screenshot was going around all over the place, wasn't it? Like, oh, classified night creepers, etc. Et I mean, that was funny. Um, I'm getting two of these, says Josh. Oh, and the rest. This is this is the one that's gonna break my I'm only getting one figure kind of thing, you know. I'm probably gonna have to go absolute ham on night creepers because they are beautiful. I mean, they have nailed this figure, haven't they? I don't mean literally. I mean like absolute, absolutely nailed it. And I don't mean in the Kitty Said variety. It's just great. The swords as well. The Madam Two Swords. There's another one I always do. That the Madam Two Swords they've done like just phenomenal. This is great. Loads of gear as well in this one. Love it. Uh, and a backpack. Yay for backpacks. We've got this backpack. We've got Torch's backpack. 
we've got Jinx's sheath sort of sword backpack, and we've got uh, Doc's stretcher. They have gone all out on making sure things are backpacks now, haven't they? It's like they've heard us, and they've gone, okay, we need to do more backpacks again, but make them fit this time. Um, anyway, brilliant stuff. And then, of course, we get this gorgeous shot of the Night Creeper on the roof, very reminiscent of how we see them in the comics as well, like on rooftops, uh, very early on in the um, in their kind of appearances in the Marvel comics in this style. And we even see it with the version 2s. We see the version 2s on rooftops giving it the big and all the time in the comics it, back in the day, the, the original vintage comics when they first showed up. Um, anyway, lovely stuff. Again, leaks, yeah, I know. It sort of sucks, but then at the same time, we're kind of also enjoying the fact that we're seeing them. Um, you know, like if it was, if it were up to me, yeah, it would be great if we got it all tomorrow. But also, I'm happy now that I've seen them and I'm like, oh, these are great. I'm also just multitasking because I know what happens. I was literally on a stream with Mark a few, like earlier today, and bang, we had these images pop up. It's crazy. Um, Man, I am exhausted. There's just so there's so much going on at the moment, and I'm not going to complain, but it is absolutely draining trying to keep up with everything. It's nuts. So I hope you appreciate it, guys. I hope you appreciate the work that I'm putting in on this uh, to get as much done as possible in a very short space of time. Uh, but yeah, very, very excited for these figures. Yeah, anyway, um, Night Creeper took out Shockwave. Yeah, that, I think that's probably the, the the narrative that's going on, isn't it? Yeah. Same, yeah, the, yeah it's all the similar... It's I think the, the, the four-figure wave always have a theme connectivity, don't they, with the promo images, as we saw in the kind of like the, uh, the cage fighting Airborne versus Techno Viper versus Big Boa versus Quick Kick uh, promo images on the last one. Um Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, Mark P. That's a very kind thing to say. When are you going on world tour for fans? As if. As if. Uh, this show is on my top three favourite forms of entertainment. Wow, Chris G. I, well, one, I really appreciate that. Two, you need to get more better entertainment in your life because this is... Is this entertaining? I, it is for you. It must be. And I'm very happy that it is. Um, anyway. That's self-deprecation over. Yeah, this show rocks. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's Night Creeper. That's Jinx. That's Doc. That's Norga Hyde. That's um, Torch in a nutshell. Um, possible, maybe we're getting a hint for the Triple T tomorrow as well, the crossover. I don't know, possibly. I think it could be a it could be a, a, a thing that they even just reveal like the actual vehicle, but maybe not the pre-order just yet. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Um, a lot of people saying, where's the SMS? I'll also caveat and say, well, let's let's talk about that. So the fan stream tomorrow, 29th at, sorry, the 29th of February at 11 a.m. Eastern. More news. Skybound just released new printing covers for Duke, for Duke. Thanks, Talking Joe. Thanks, Mark. Well, I'll, you, I'll leave you to deal with that, and I'll just share what you say. How's that sound? <laughs> um... Oh, thanks, M. Price. I appreciate that. That's 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 very that's high. Um, what's the word? Like you know, that, that's good company to be in. Uh, so I appreciate your 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 putting us in at that kind of you know enjoyment level. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. So Hasbro Pulse fan stream tomorrow, eleven a.m. Eastern. Now, like I said before, the SMS. Uh, well. Unofficial leaks, of course. Um, we've talked about this on, on pretty much every episode. What I'm kind of expecting for tomorrow's shows in terms of name-only reveals. Here's a few possibles for name-onlys. But obviously, it's one of those things where it could be any bloody thing, couldn't it? Um, there's a few others that we might have an inkling are, are happening. But again, we'll see what happens when they do the name-only reveals on tomorrow's show. Hopefully, it might unlock some more things that we can unlock on that listings, uh, the leak listing stuff. So, you know, here's a few items. Retro Cobra Commander, Road Pig, Heart Wrencher, Iron Grenadier Bat, my bad, Thunder Machine, and Snowcat are all possible, possible things that might pop up, let's just say, as name-onlys. 
Now, in addition, in terms of like, what are we going to see digital render style? We have our name only reveals, don't we? So uh, again, I could see any of these pop up as renders, with the exception of maybe Leatherneck and Xander. So I think you know, Starduster, Raptor, and Nemesis Immortal are all your kind of deluxe level bangers, right? So maybe they might pick one, two at a stretch out of those three. Maybe Raptor and Nemesis, Nemesis Immortal get the nod. Maybe one of them, maybe Rap maybe it's just Raptor. We'll see, I guess. But I think we're going to see renders of one of those deluxe kind of sets. Alpine Wave, almost certainly, I expect. Alpine, Iron Grenadier, Iron Grenadier Bat, and another, which we can't say yet. I'm hoping they do, I'm hoping they just reveal it so that we don't have to keep sitting on it. But we'll see. But I think render reveals of that wave might be a possibility. The Cobra Ferret as a render, I could see happen. Um, and then the retro figures, uh, so Snow Serpent, Retro Eels, and, and Beachhead. I could see them maybe show them off as well. Possibly 60th, absolute Super Cyan. Um, yeah, so what we've got the Marine and the Pilot, is that right, that, that, that leaked? Do you know what? I should put those on these graphics because, yeah, that is true. They have unofficially leaked. So I should put them in the unofficial leaks category, shouldn't I? I'll be updating that graphic the next time because I keep forgetting to do so. So yeah, action pilot marine. But then again, by tomorrow, I might not need to, right? And then all my work, all my work's done for me. If it hasn't though, if they haven't been revealed tomorrow, then yeah, I'll be uh, updating that 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 graphic. Anyway, anyway, then we get to actual digital renders. Now we know pretty much for a fact now, don't we? Doc, Jinx, Torch, Night Creeper, and Norga Hide are almost certainly, almost certainly going to be the pre-orders for tomorrow. Um, it, the, the, it would take some sort of monolithic, crazy miracle for them not to be pre-orders tomorrow, right? So let's just go ahead and say, yeah, locked in for Doc, Jinx, Torch, Night Creeper, and, and Norgahide. That does leave a few unanswered quezzies, doesn't it? So obviously the SMS, I think, is possibly also going to be pop popped in tomorrow, or... They might save it for a sort of one-off vibe later on. Um, Tripwire and Roadblock, who knows? The fact that we've got this like jungle background makes me think, you know, for the for the uh, the official reveal of the announcement, makes me think. Well, maybe we are getting Tiger Force, Tripwire, and Roadblock. Maybe just as a uh, what's the word like a. a uh, figure reveal, maybe not pre-order necessarily, but they might do pre-orders. I don't know. I don't know on that one. Um, you think we'll get HasLab project tomorrow? No. N almost certainly not. Just because they like to lead up to those things with like, uh, um, uh, you know, sort of like promotional marketing sort of situations. And it's usually Ojo June uh, that they save something like that for. This will be. This will. There's no way we're getting a Haslab tomorrow. Not on your life. Um, and then I say that, and then it happens, and it's like, oh, whoops. But no, I, I, I can't see that in a million years, honestly. Uh, the Haslab, if they do another Haslab, well, of course they will. Uh, but that will be Yojo June, almost certainly, at least later in the year. Um, but yeah, so SMS. I think we might still see it. I think we might still see it based on the fact that it's in the country. I can see pre-orders going up for that tomorrow as well. And it's just the fact that we haven't seen promo images for it leaked because we've we've that, that's happened before too. We've seen not all things leaked the night before pretty much every time. It's just a, a smattering of things that are leaked usually. And then the rest of it gets revealed on the actual show. Um, so yeah, I'd have to say no for Haslabs tomorrow. But yeah, yes, for the four-figure wave, Norga Hyde. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I think the SMS is going up as well. I don't know, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna I would be very surprised if we don't see it. And I think that would be enough. Uh tripwire and roadblock, I feel like with that that theme background, it almost feels like, yeah, we're also gonna we're probably just gonna get everything that got that's that you know we haven't seen yet, other than like render-wise. We're gonna get everything that's that's been rendered. Um, and then, of course, I'd love to see an update on the Dragonfly, and I'd love to see in hand 
Ripcord, Glenda, and Crazy Legs. I think that would be a really cool thing for them to do. Uh, it would be a cool thing on its own, but again, it's been a while since it's been a while since we saw any sort of Dragonfly update. And I think showing those figures off would be a great update. Uh, tripwire roadblock for targets, things for later. Yeah, it feels like it's a later thing for Tripwire and Roadblock, but it's the fact they use that jungle background on... Jungle is massive on the Pulse Stream reveal. That's what makes me think... Because that's got nothing to do with the theme we've just seen for the promo images for those four figures. Although maybe, could you get as a stretch, maybe uh, Norgahide? Maybe that's a maybe that's Norgahide, because obviously... Uh, pork belly and yobbo that image is in the jungly kind of aspect isn't it so maybe that's the connection for the jungle bit for tomorrow maybe that's it and i'm and i'm overthinking it about tripwire and and roadblock we'll see we shall see it could be the swamp right yeah i guess i guess but this is what we've i mean we've kind of seen this before for um it's kind of in their materials for like Tiger Force and Python Patrol, but I get what you're saying. Um, anyway, it's crazy the Pulse fan stream is on a leap day. Oh, God, yeah. How have I only just realised that it's February the 29th? What an idiot I am. Like, I just, I've only just realised it's usually only 28 days in February. Like, that is the dumbest thing I've done today, I think. It's only just dawned on me that it's a leap day. Crazy. Yeah, that is nuts, actually. Um, right, okay, that's that's blown my mind. Yeah, so digital renders, we, we kind of know what's coming to a certain degree, don't we? So, yeah, Bob's your uncle on that one. Right then, that comes, that basically finishes, finish leak day. I like it. That ba basically kind of brings us to the leak listings page again. We always end up on this, don't we? We always end up find ourselves here um, at the end of the day. So, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm excited for all of the things that we've got coming. Um, yeah, I think I think it's going to be a pretty hectic day. And yeah, and that's all I can really say about it now. I think yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait to see what happens. You may you just made me laugh out loud with your jungle is massive OCD. I know I can't help it, can I? I can't help whenever I whenever I hear a certain thing, it just like sparks the stupid catchphrase. I, there are more catchphrases on this show. I have more personal catchphrases than than the show Catchphrase, which own, I, I'm not even sure made it to the US. Nightclub Force confirmed, exactly. Will those Iron Grenadiers be released in the fall 2024? Uh, so Alpine, Iron Grenadier Bat, and Iron Grenadiers and that Bam Bam, uh, that is for later in the year, isn't it? So yeah, basically. Uh, in hand, probably around that time, I'd say. Jungle is massive. They'll probably get revealed uh, for Yojo June, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, actually. It's hard to tell. I'm all over the place right now. The reason that those four are kind of off to the side and it feels like, you know, they're like later in the year is just it's just an accident of how I've laid things out. Um, I just wanted to split it up. And obviously, we got Night Creeper, Torch, Jinx, and Doc information later um, than we got the other stuff, which is weird, isn't it? Oh, I passed by eels without singing, yeah, eels up inside you. Oh, there we go. Ruined it again. So you line up Lenny and Emily interview now that we have a date confirmed for stream. Yes. Oh, it's not lined up, no, but it's in the pro it's in process of them finding time for me. It's in the pro it's in the works. And it has been in the works since November of last year. I know. They just keep palming me off because they hate me. Um, highway pet equals Voltar, question uh, mark. I can tell you no, it doesn't, but uh, I would love a Voltar. Voltar almost feels like he's he's kind of going to happen now, the fact that Iron Grenadiers is such a major deal. Uh, repaints, repaints, as, for, as far as the eye can see, says Neil. Yeah, that, again, that's your catchphrase, Neil, isn't it? Uh, and I'm I'm here for it. Anywho, I'm going to bring it to a close there, guys, because obviously we're going to be talking about this in way more detail tomorrow. We're going to have more answers tomorrow. Um, and I want to eat something because I'm starving. So <laughs> I, 
I'm going to start posting the things I should have posted ages ago, like the uh, monthly episode. I'm going to start putting that where it needs to go, Kitty said. And of course, this episode following that. Thank you so much for joining me again. Let's just do a quick, I'll, I'll do a couple more questions before I go. So let's do this. How? Um, I'm kind of buzzing at the moment um, because not only have, um, you know, we got these like images and stuff, but Man United finally got a gross win. Oh, and then are we going to see, are we going to have to play Liverpool? Oh, that's a loss. That's an instant insta loss then in that case. Um, enough of football, soccer, whatever you want to call it, football. Um, what are we saying in the quesies? Say what you see with Mr. Chips. Absolutely, Philly. Absolutely. Uh, you'll only understand if you've seen catchphrase. Ha Jungle is massive. Sounds like a catchphrase for talking Battle Commander's Pathfinder. It should be, Rachel. Jungle is massive, as he's got his, uh, his weed whacker. Uh, how many figures per year are they putting out? Too many, I think, Mr. Cheeseburger. Uh, I don't have an actual number, but I think it's more than we've got on that leaked list. And we should do a count. Well, they've done it. They've kind of done it on the those beautiful pictures they took of the whole figure li li lineups on the His Tank. That was quite fun. And that one where they turned Falcon around to look the other way, just chef's kiss. Food is overrated, Josh. Uh, I don't know. Right now, right now, it's not. Um, Jedi says, you need to ask Lenny about getting an official post checklist of all the figures. I'd love, yeah, like a product leaflet would be fun, wouldn't it? That would be really great. A fold up product leaflet. Like they, they did that with, uh, Pursuit of Cobra as well. So yeah, if they, they, they could bring that back and just have like all the, like that post, the steel, the steel, uh, the special core steel brigade poster we got in the UK with the, the special core figure in the middle and then all the figures on the checklist around it. That'd be great. Um, happy Leak Day, y'all. It, it, I mean, Leak Day before Leap Day. It's just, you couldn't write this, could you? Um, will we see the Awe Striker, says Lawrence. Oh, I'd love to see the Awe. The Awe Striker's a doable vehicle, isn't it? <laughs> Kitty said. And I mean that in the sense of, it, you could see that being done, <laughs> Kitty said, um, for the Classified series, based on the fact we've had the vamp. So yeah, I th I think the Oar Strike is one hundred percent on the cards at some stage. Maybe they might be saving that as like a low key, you know, solid release for like maybe twenty twenty five or something. It could be they could do it for twenty twenty four. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? Um, G seven M nine W. Are you a Liverpool fan? I, I'm again. I'm I'm not going to make this about soccer or football. But uh, you are gonna destroy us if, um, it, uh, if in the next round, a hundred percent. I'm not. It's not even worth holding on to any hope for that one. Did I get Duke three today? N I, I yes and no. I've only just found out that it's out, and I am getting it, and I will be reading it as soon as I get in my Kindle after this episode. Uh, we were doing the uh, the the comics, but not the comic, the monthly comic special with Mark a second ago. Like an hour or so ago, and he said, "Did you have you read Threes out?" And I'm like, "What?" So yeah, I will be reading. I'm so excited. Um, the Sarge documentary is on A and E, but I don't know what day or time it airs. Yeah, he posted that the other day, and we shared it. Uh, very excited um, about that one. Yeah, I've got to try and find out how to watch that. But yes, very cool. Um, those are Sundays, says Derek. Is what the Sarge documentary wicked okay cool right then guys i'm gonna see you tomorrow uh if anything else breaks obviously tonight then great we'll talk about it tomorrow but we'll save it for the for the show tomorrow um i'm really excited to see all the, the rest of the like the reveals the other what other pre-orders all that kind of stuff um and obviously we'll be going live not immediately i don't know it depends what happens during the day um it might be it's going to be a little bit later in the day uh, when i go live with it but we'll try and share what comes out as well um, on the socials, and then we'll go from there. Either way, we'll be doing a burst. You know that. I know that. Everybody knows that. And uh, I'll see you then. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Happy Leak Day. See you tomorrow. Stay fresh cheese bags. Just another one of those things. And as always, 
after three. One, two, three. Full force. See you tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time, and as always, full force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on X, formerly Twitter, at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Full Force. We've also added a brand new Instagram so check us out there as well at The Full Force Podcast and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on any of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or in enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force